Hello everyone and welcome back to that time of the year. Once again is the time where Procreate starts to announce their latest updates. So just like last year when we covered Procreate 5 and all the amazing things that were added to Procreate 5, it is time now to cover what are the additions, what are the new things coming over for Procreate 5X. If you haven't seen or heard anything from their Instagram stories, the team behind Procreate has been putting updates and like little sneak peeks of what's actually coming up for this latest version of Procreate. So here in this video, I still don't have the beta, but I do have some information based on an amazing live stream that just happened at the Lightbox Expo. I have some information on some of these latest features and what's expected to arrive for this latest edition of Procreate. So this is a video you definitely don't wanna miss. My name is Leo and you're watching Ghost Papers. So now let's get to it. All right, just in case you guys don't know, uh, this information is coming from the Lightbox Expo, which is happening today. Today is actually the last day of the LBX conference, which is a conference that Procreate uh, is one of these sponsors, and it usually happens in Los Angeles. This year is happening online. As we know, of course, because of social isolation, everything that's happening right now in the world, but that doesn't mean that the conference has lost its power. There are still some amazing talks, panels, portfolio reviews, you can visit booths of artists and you can check out their stuff, you can buy prints, you can buy their brushes, you can see their art. In any case, today is the last day of the LBX and during this last day in the schedule we had a live stream uh, with Nikolai Lockerstein, I, I hope that I'm pronouncing it correctly. He is the famous Nico in the world in the community of Procreate. If you haven't heard of Nico's brushes in the community of Procreate, you're actually uh, probably missing out. He's got some amazing brushes. Also, he does have, I believe, a package of free brushes with a few brushes, and it's something that you know I've I've gotten myself. Like I, I think that everyone who's an enthusiast of Procreate has heard or should hear about Nico and Nico's work and Nico's brushes. Any, uh, in any case, he did an amazing live stream where he showed a little bit of his work and a little bit of his process on creating his own illustrations while using Procreate 5X. So what's actually happening? What's, you know, what's actually coming up with Procreate 5X? In my opinion, you know, go, just going back a little bit on Procreate 5, I think they've actually did an overhaul of several features. They've added the clone tool, they've added the animation assist, but I really think that some of the best things from Procreate 5 were actually on the right side of the UI. So if you look at the UI, you know, on the left side, we've got the actions menu, preferences, move tool and adjustments, but on the right side, we have the brushes. We have the amazing brush studio that was added on 5. We have the color harmony. We have the floating color picker. So there were three really big, big features that were added on Procreate 5 that belonged to the right side of the UI. So what I really think that the team behind Procreate is actually doing for this version of 5X is now investing on the left side of the UI and most specifically talking about the effects or the adjustments menu. So right here on the screen, I'm gonna put a screenshot and a few clips of what we could see from Nikolai's live stream. And on the left side of the UI, we know that there's a few added effects. So just starting with the adjustments menu, what we could see here is that we have you know, we have the famous suspects such as like hue saturation, color balance, curves, motion blur, perspective blur, but some of the additions, glow, we finally have glow so we don't have to be duplicating layers and actually setting those as screen layers with Gaussian blur. We have glitch and I think I called that off. Look, there is a video that I've made a while ago actually where I took, I think was one of the sneak peeks from the team behind Procreate on their Instagram live and I, you know, kind of connected the dots there and it's official now. We do have glitch so far in the beta version of Procreate 5X. We also have an amazing halftone effect that you can apply through, uh, you know, throughout your whole image as a really strong effect or you can make something kind of like as a duplication and, and like an addition to your current illustration so you have a little bit of a sense of that uh, printing process effect which is known as halftone and uh, you can actually decide if you want it to be really like the focus of your piece or if you want to just have that as, the, uh, as a separate layer that goes on top of everything. We also have, guys, this is Community Rejoice here. We finally have what I believe to be a gradient creator or generator in Procreate. 
So I haven't seen this feature, Nikolai really, uh, at least from what I saw in his live stream, I didn't really see that being used. So now if you ask me, is this a gradient ramp of two, three or five colors, I won't be able to tell you, but it's just really nice to see that finally we have this tool so that, you know, allows us to get to, uh, to creating gradients a little bit faster in Procreate. And lastly, we have something really interesting and I love to use that onto my style frame, especially when it's not like a lot of illustration work. Sometimes it's more on the 3D side of things to be completely honest, but using chromatic aberration is such a cool effect. But here's the other very surprising thing, which is super, super cool guys, is that looking at the screenshot on like right here on this frame, is that not only you can apply these effects as a, through the overall picture, but you can have these effects applied as a pencil on your brushes. So now, for example, if you do wanna use the Gaussian Blur, you can apply it as a brush and you can brush, you can do what we call the edge blur, where you're blurring just the outside edge of your illustration, kind of creating that shallow focus photography effect. Uh, so you, you, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you can probably do the same with a lot of these filters and a lot of these effects. So same with glow. Doing glow with a brush is gonna be so much better and so much cooler to be able to just kind of like, just put the glow in the right places where you want with a very small brush or with a very broad kind of like soft brush. That's gonna be super cool to see. Now in terms of features, uh, there wasn't a lot that I could see as well, but one thing that really caught my attention that I thought it was super cool to have that addition is once again, increasing productivity. Now Procreate is actually going to release two possible, at least two possible quick menus. So if you don't know what a quick menu is, is a way for you to actually activate throughout many different ways. Personally, I have mine with a touch and hold onto the canvas of my uh, iPad. It, uh, once Pro, uh, Procreate evokes quick menu, you do have six options that you can tweak to your needs. So you can be a brush, you can be creating new layers, it could be paint and erase tool, and you can actually get your production so much faster by setting up six quick shortcuts. Well, the problem is that, as it says, there were six shortcuts, but now we're gonna have at least 12 shortcuts because you're gonna be able to have quick menu one, quick menu two. So where do I see this really being used? Uh, where do I see this really being a really nice focus for this application? Is for example, you can have quick menu one for your rough sketches, creating storyboards, you know, kind of like the initials, uh, the initial stages of your illustration. And then you can do quick menu two for finishing your illustration or to get into the middle section, or even to get into the finishing touches such as using glow, chromatic aberration, gradient maps and everything else. So basically you can divide a uh, quick menu into certain stages of your, of your illustration uh, process. And also they are coming up with new features, especially for the adjustments menu. Now I'm sure there's more things to see here. There's more things that are coming up for Procreate. I don't know much about the performance, if it's getting faster, if they're actually giving us even more layers, or if they were able to tap into the additional RAM that the latest iPad models have. I currently don't even have the latest, latest iPad Pro. I have the 2018 model, but I think that there are more things coming up that we just don't know and as soon as we get the uh, as soon as i at least myself get the hands on on the beta i'm going to be making separate videos kind of focusing on each section and also giving you guys some examples so make sure to stay tuned for all of these additions it's super super exciting news knowing that we're going to have a great addition of procreate now that has some of these finishing effects so procreate has solidified themselves as creating images able to uh, tweak import brushes from even from photoshop create text create animations and i think now they're trying to specialize or to add features more on the finishing touches of your illustration and that is because that is so that we can do as much as possible as always in procreate with one single subscription, with one single payment, you have the app and you can do as much as you can for your work, either being freelance work or your personal work. So that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, a like would be super appreciated, as well as make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss 
any of these videos here on this channel and it's all to make you a better digital illustrator. We got tutorials, we got reviews, we got step-by-step -step instructions, we got many videos here that is all about making you a better digital illustrator and not spending time trying to learn software and applications, rather focusing on your art which is most important. And also on the right side of the screen, there's more content for you guys to watch. One is my latest upload and the other one is a video that YouTube is actually recommending you to check it out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Ciao.